Hi everybody, my name is Caden. My name is Jaden. My name is Nicole. I'm Eli. And I'm Jason. And we are the Yahoo and the Torah YouTube channel. Thank you very much for spending this time with our precious creator and his wonderful son, Yahushua Hamashiach. And we are proud in a good way that we are able to let you guys know the message, to tell you guys probably the best news in our entire lives, probably the best news in the entire world. And what news is that? The Torah of Messiah, the Torah, the Torah of the, the Bible. Yeah, the Torah of our Creator. Not just the Torah of Messiah, but the Torah of our Creator. And why is it so good, Eli? Because it is the things that we should follow and what, is Yahoo, what Yahoo has created for us. Yeah, we should follow it. I, I, I've, it's our I've instruction heard. guide. It's our instruction guide. There we go. Yes, and that's what everyone says. Oh, you gotta, you got to follow these old things. It's like putting on a set of shackles and a ball and chain on your foot and... You're now, uh, you're now stuck in, uh, you know, you're in the prison of God's laws. And um, nobody wants to be under the hand of our creator. Nobody wants to be under the hand of our creator. But I would say without a shadow of a doubt, the hand of our creator is a, um, is a great place to be. He is a caring creator. He loves us. He loves you. And uh, I guess if you guys are spending time here on this channel, then uh, your eyes are open and you are understanding what it is. And so we... Uh, we appreciate you guys. So uh, appreciate everybody out there, and let's get busy on this because we do have a uh, busy day. So let's begin with our handy dandy split screen as we see how you guys are doing. How's how you guys doing? Good. Good. What day is today? Fifth day. Fifth day. It is the fifth day on our Creator's calendar. What day is it on the Gregorian? Thursday. 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 Right. Okay. So let's 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 go over this stuff right here, and let's see if we can let the Ruha Kakadesh do the speaking for us and. Um, We'll go from there. And so we are 23. Yep. Okay. And this is the appointed festivals. And so right out of the gate, I did pre-read this a little bit. Um, right out of the gate, the very first thing that we're about to speak of is a very important festival, right? And it's called the Shabbat. And it's like uh, they put it as a feast. And so um, there is um, something that we should all be, you know, thinking about and, and when we're doing this. And, you know, the word Shabbat is in what scriptures over 240 some times. Um, the word guard, my commands, is in there a zillion times. Um, and it's all about guarding the commands of Yah. And we're not going to be guarding the commands of our Creator if, if, number one, we don't know them. If, number two, that we are under some crazy cult thinking that they're hung on the cross and they don't apply to us because that's just, that's absurdity. And you can, you can look at the laws of our Creator and there is nothing, there's not a single law that should be ever um, made to not made to null. They're all very important. And, you know, um, you know, there's a, a sub or a, a person on the, the channel that said, Hey, when you're smarter than the, uh, than the creator of the cosmos, then I guess you can question the laws. But if you're not smarter than the, the creator of the cosmos, then why are we even questioning this stuff? So it's not about questioning it. It's about writing it and chiseling it onto our hearts, minds, and souls, putting it as frontlets to our eyes, putting it on our gates, and living it and loving it. All right, here we go. Leviticus 23. And Yahuwah has spoken to Moshe, saying, Speak unto the children of Yashrael, and say unto them, Concerning the feasts of Yahuwah, which ye shall proclaim to be holy assemblies, even these are my feasts. Six days shall work be done, but the seventh is the Shabbat of rest, a holy assembly. Ye shall do no work therein. It is the Shabbat of Yahuwah in all your dwellings. So that is a, um, it's, we, we know this, right? But yet it is listed under a, a feast, a festival time. Now, why is it a feast day? You know, who delights in it? It's something where we're supposed to be holy. We're supposed to be spending time with him. It's a set apart day. We're not working. We're not cooking. We're not cleaning. We're not doing any of that. The normal stuff. We are spending time with our creator. And that's what he wants to do. That's an appointed time for him. Yeah. And since we don't cook on the Sabbath day, we cook the day before, which that'll be tomorrow's preparation day, right? Yeah, tomorrow's mm -hmm. preparation day, and um, it's a feast day, right? You you don't you you just chill out. Your your food is prepared. You're not working. You're not clinging. You're not you know none of that stuff. So, um, Nicole, did you add that into yes. this? Okay, all right. So I got my the world's one of the world's best receptionists right here. Um, she says stop, but it's true. So here it is, Leviticus twenty three four. These are the feasts of Yahuwah. Even holy assemblies, which ye shall proclaim in their appointed times. In the fourteenth day of the first month at even is Yahuwah's Pekach, Pesach, 
And on the fifteenth day of the same month is the feast of matzah unto Yahuwah. Seven days you must eat matzah. Okay, so what is what is the two yeah two different ones? And so that would go under the feasts, keep Yah's holy feast, and it would also go under Passover. Passover, and then feast oh, of unleavened bread. bread. Feast, yeah, uh, and so it's unleavened bread. So the feast of matzah is what? Feast of unleavened bread. Feast of unleavened bread. Okay, verse seven. So you got you. I'm working it. All right. So seven. In the first day, ye shall have a holy assembly. Ye shall do no servile work therein. So what does that mean exactly? The first day of the feast, we don't do any work. What is that day called? Uh, high Shabbat. Yeah, it's a, it's a high. Sh they, they call it a, a Shabbat. It's a high Shabbat, it's like a right? Shabbat. But it's a little bit different. A uh, high Shabbat on that day is what? What's the difference on this? Uh, it, you can cook. It's a, f a feast day. It's a day you can actually cook. Yeah. Just don't work. Right, but uh, other feast days like Shabbat, you can't cook. You can't cook. Right? Rest day. So, yep, rest day. Okay, verse eight. But ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto Yahuwah seven days. And the seventh day is a holy assembly. Ye shall do no servile work therein. Okay, so what is that seventh day? So that's like seven, on the first day of the feast. So this, this feast is like a week long. Right. Oh, and I'm read to you have the first day and then the seventh day. And so you could end up with like four Shabbats in a row almost. You'd have a Shabbat, then you would have a the day afterwards a high Shabbat, yeah, and then if sense. you ended on wherever the day was, you could end up with a a high Shabbat. Then you could also end up with another Shabbat. Um, so you, am, am I right here, everyone? Yep. Yeah. I don't know. Those are confusing to me. So I don't yeah. know. <laughs> but you understand that, right? Yeah, Jake? I get it. Okay, so let's uh, nine. And Yahweh spoke unto Moshe, saying, "Speak unto the children of Yashrael and say unto them." When ye are come into the land which I give unto you, and shall reap the harvest thereof, then ye shall bring a sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest unto the priest. So would this be a command or not? Um, well, we don't bring it to the priest. I don't know who to bring it to. Yeah, we don't have a we don't have a priest to deal with this. So no, that wouldn't be something we could do today. Okay, and he shall wave the sheaf before Yahuwah to be accepted for you on the morrow after the Shabbat. The priest shall wave it. And ye shall offer that day when ye wave the sheaf a he lamb without blemish of the first year for an ascending smoke offering unto Yahuwah. Okay, anything, any commands there? Um, no, I'm good. I think the sacrifice, things you have to like basically do with the priests is sacrifices, bring gifts to them and bring the wave offering for them. Right. And the oblation thereof shall be two tenths deals of fine flour mingled with oil, an offering made by fire unto Yahuwah for a sweet savor. And the drink offering thereof shall be of wine, the fourth part of a hen. And ye shall eat neither bread, nor parched grain, nor green ears, until the selfsame day that ye have brought an offering unto Yahuwah. It shall be a statute forever throughout your generations in all your dwellings. All right, so what is that saying here? So you don't get to, bring, you don't get to eat any grain or like any of like the wheat until you bring it to the priests first. Right. And yeah, you don't, you, you take care of Yah first. Okay. Fifteen, and this is called the Festival of Weeks in the NIV. So, and ye shall count unto you from the morrow after the Shabbat, from the day that ye brought the sheaf of the wave offering, seven Shabbats shall be complete. Even until the morrow after the seventh Shabbat shall ye number fifty days, and ye shall offer a renewed oblation unto Yahuwah. What are we dealing with here? So basically, I believe this is after the first. Um, what are we counting up? What are, what's the fifty days? What, what is this? It's Shavuot. It's like for, it's called a uh, feast of weeks. Yeah, and so first what, fruits. For, yeah. is it first fruits? And you're counting mm -hmm. the Omer. Yeah, we're we're counting the Omer on this whole thing. Okay, so is this we this should be added in this right? This should be a command. Yep. Nicole. Yep. Okay, you got this. Yep. Okay. Perfect. All right. Seventeen. Ye shall bring out of your habitations two wave loaves of two tenth deals. They shall be a fine flour. They shall be bacon with leaven. They are the first fruits unto Yahuwah. And you shall offer with the bread seven lambs without blemish of the first year. And there again, we have seven, 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 sevens. Uh, and one young bullock and two rams. They shall be for an ascending smoke offering unto Yahuwah with their oblation and their drink offerings, even an offering made by fire of sweet savor unto Yahuwah. Then you shall sacrifice one kid of the goats for a sin offering. And two lambs of the first year for a sacrifice of peace offerings. And the priest shall wave them before the bread of the first fruits for a wave offering before Yahuwah with the two lambs. They shall be holy to Yahuwah for the priest. And ye shall proclaim on the selfsame day that it may be a holy assembly unto you. 
You shall do no servile work therein. It shall be a statute forever in all your dwellings throughout your generations. Okay, what are we? What is going on here, Nicole? Do you know what's going on? Anyone? So basically, we're supposed to after we um, have a, the feast of unleavened bread, we're supposed to count up basically fifty days um, up to the point where then we have another high Shabbat, which is the feast of first fruits, or not the feast of fruits, but uh, Shavuot and. Or we're supposed to take what we have, and we're supposed to take the case we're supposed to bring to the priest, and we're supposed to bring seven lambs, which seems really expensive. Seven lambs is a crazy thing, I think. But yeah. uh, he, we were supposed to sacrifice that on that day, and there was no there was no work on that day. It was basically a Kadesh, Kadesh gathering, as it says. We're supposed to all basically just have a Shabbat. Yeah, and so the things that we can do is we can definitely count the days of Omer. We can definitely set apart the days, and we can we can keep the days, but... You know, we why Eli? Why don't we do the stuff that the priests do? Uh, because we are not ordained. We are not Levites. And we have Yahoshua now. Yeah, we have Messiah Yahoshua, and he is our um, he's our not only our Melchizedek priest, but he's also our our lamb sacrifice. And so that is that is what we have our hope in. All right, twenty two. And when you reap the harvest of your land. You shall not make cling riddance of the corners of your field when you reap. Neither shall you gather any gleaning of your harvest. You shall leave them unto the poor and to the stranger. I am Yahuwah Elohim. So it sounds like a command to me as well. Yeah. One thing I've noticed here is when he says, I am Yahuwah Elohim, like he really means it. Because there's some commands here where he says, he doesn't say I am Yahuwah Elohim, but like this, like when he says I am Yahuwah, it's like of the most importance when he says that. Yeah, yeah, and it's for the stranger and the poor. Yeah, how to, how to stop crime is not to allow the crime to ever begin, not to make something a crime. Feeding yourself should never, ever be a crime. And I, I don't know what people would do, uh, either starve to death or they would have to commit a crime. And so Yah set up a way that, you know, people, there should always be food in the land. It was amazing. Should this one go under the same, do not reap the corners of your field? Right? Yes. Okay. All right, 23. And Yahoo has spoken to Moshe saying, speak unto the children of Yashrael saying, in the seventh month, in the first month, day of the month, shall be a Shabbat, a memorial of blowing shofars, a holy assembly. So we just ended up into another what? Another sh a sh another high Shabbat, basically. Right. But this is uh, this is the Feast of uh, Trumpets. Right, and so it's in the seventh of, month. The day of blasting. Right, seventh month, on the first day of the month. And what do we, what do, we do on that day? Uh, we hear our shofars, and I guess we go around our house like in the days of Jericho, and we just blow our shofars. What happens if the house comes down? <laughs> That's not good. Um, yeah, so, yeah, we will go around blowing the shofars. What, you know, these are these are things people don't understand, is that the holy convocations and the holy setups for Yah, our creator is probably going to send his son back on the day of trumpets. It would just, it would be amazing that the people of Yah are out there, they don't know why, but they're out there blowing trumpets, and all of a sudden it brings in the king, right? Wouldn't that be amazing? Uh, the And, you know, the only people that would be blowing the trumpets are, are Torah keepers, you know, people that are in the Torah. And uh, I guess I, there's there's probably other Jews and stuff that do this as well, but I think they're um, on they, they hate, yeah, they hate Messiah Yahushua. So, you know, they are, it's amazing the way our creator has worked all of this stuff out. And so... Um, that is part, I guess, part of the problem about having the wrong calendar. If you got the wrong calendar and you got the wrong date, you're going to be blowing the trumpets and Messiah Yahushua is going to be coming and gone or something of the sort. And um, you're, going to, you're going to miss it. And so we got to get our calendars dialed in and, and correct. All right. Let's go to 25. You shall do no servile work therein, but ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto Yahuwah. And Yahuwah spoken to Moshe saying, also on the 10th day of this seventh month is Yom Kippurim. It shall be a holy assembly unto you, and ye shall afflict your souls and offer an offering made by fire unto Yahuwah. Now, how do you guys afflict your souls? Uh, we fast. Fasting, I would assume. Does it say to fast? No, you just afflict your souls, but that's how we can afflict ourselves. I don't know ourselves. how else you afflict your soul other than fasting and taking the food away from yourself. You could, uh, you could sit in the cold all day. You could sit in a freezer. Afflict your souls. I mean, there's a lot of ways you afflict your souls. I guess probably the easiest one is to fast. Um, but it doesn't actually say to fast. And I, I, I know that there's some contention in some various groups that people, you know. Um, back in the day, I remember back when we were drinking coffee, 
we were really afflicting our souls because, uh, you know, I go when, when I have said this before, I'll say it again. If you don't think you're a coffee fiend like the drug addicts are, just try to stop coffee and then you'll see if you're a fiend or if you're not. And if you're not a fiend, then you're, I guess you're right where you need to be. Um, but um, on the Day of Atonement, we, you know, it's massive headaches and it's just, it's it we're definitely afflicting our souls. So I guess on the Day of Atonement, don't drink coffee if you want to have your soul totally afflicted if you drink coffee. And we strongly suggest you don't. Okay. And ye shall do no work in the same day, for it is Yom Kippurium to make an atonement for you before Yahuwah Elohekim. Nicole, you got this new one? Yep. Yom Kippurim? We already had the Day of Atonement in there. Okay. Yeah, so these are just added in. For whatsoever soul it be that shall not be afflicted in that same day, he shall be cut off from among his people. And whatsoever soul it be that does any work in that same day, that same soul will I destroy from among his people. Okay, so on the day, under the Day of Atonement, is, is we need to make sure we have this, that is, there's no work whatsoever. You got that all in there? Yeah. Okay, she's good. I did the whole thing. I told you you were a good receptionist. Okay, the best, Yah's receptionist. All right, ye shall do no manner of work. It shall be a statute forever throughout your generations in all your dwellings. It shall be unto you a Shabbat of rest, and ye shall afflict your souls in the ninth day of the month at evening. From evening unto evening shall you celebrate your Shabbat. Okay, and there's it again. Um, another reference to evening to evening. You know, there's so much confusion. People just can't figure this out that sunset to sunset is our day right the day ends at sunset and it begins at sunset and it ends you know it you know the sunrise the next day just because the sun comes up that's not your next day you're, you're already 12 hours into your day because of the night so days you really only have like 12 hour days if you want to look at it like that or sun day you know when the sun's shining that you'd you'd have it does that make sense mm -hmm. yeah all right. And Yahuwah spoke unto to Moshe, saying, Speak unto the children of Yashrael, saying, The fifteenth day of this month shall be the Feast of Kokoth for seven days unto Yahuwah. What are we dealing with here, folks? This is Sukkot. This is the one where we have to make booths, where we have to make our own little tents outside. Right. And so, Nicole, you have the. do we have the Feast of Booths in the, no. is a new commandment? This is a new one. Oh, good. Okay. 35. On the first day shall be a holy assembly. You shall do no servile work. Seven days ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto Yahuwah. On the eighth day shall be a holy assembly unto you. Ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto Yahuwah. It is a solemn assembly, and ye shall do no servile work therein. Okay, so these are the days of the Feast of Booths. These are the feasts of Yahuwah, which ye shall proclaim to be holy assemblies, to offer an offering made by fire to, unto Yahuwah, an ascending smoke offering, and an oblation, a sacrifice, and drink offerings, everything upon his day. Beside the Shabbats of Yahuwah, and beside your gifts, and beside all your vows, and beside all your free will offerings, which ye give unto Yahuwah. Also in the fifteenth day of the seventh month, when ye have gathered in the fruit of the land, ye shall keep a feast unto Yahuwah seven days. On the first day shall be a Shabbat, and on the eighth day shall be a Shabbat. Now what are we talking about here? This is the eighth day. The eighth day. So what are we talking about, boys? It's another one. Gentlemen? I believe this is a... Uh, <clears throat> is it like Sam Chat or something like that? It's the... Sam Hag? Is that what it is? I can't remember what it's called. Hog Samek? No. Um, uh, <clears throat> hold on. We're, we're lost here. But this is yet another... Um, it's the eighth day after Sukkot. So it's the eighth day after Sukkot. Also on the 15th day of the month, when you gathered in the fruit of the land, you shall keep a feast on Yahoo seven days. Um, so is this yet another seven days, or what are we dealing with here? So it's it's a, Sukkot seven days. Right, this is Sukkot. So this is this the end of Sukkot then? Yes. Okay. And it's called... And on the first day of the Shabbat, and on the eighth day shall be a Shabbat. Yeah, so, so you could actually end up with like a ton of Shabbat. So basically instead of seven days, it's eight days. So you have a Shabbat on the first and on the eighth. Right. But it's a different name. It's not Sukkot. It's a different name. For I think it's hot, like the Hog Samek thing, I think is what it is. Kid was alluding to. All right. So also in the fifteenth day of the seventh month, when you have gathered in the fruit of your land, I think I read that one right. Twenty thirty nine. Yeah. Yeah, you got forty. Now. Forty. And you shall take you on the and ye shall take you on the first day the boughs of the goodly trees, branches of palm trees, and the boughs of thick trees and willows of the brook, and ye shall rejoice before Yahuwah Elohim seven days. So wait, do you bring this to a priest? No, you make you make houses out of them. 
This is your house, right? It's First, called okay. Shimmy Atheritz. What is it called? Uh, Sh Shimini Atzeret is what it is. S H E M I N I A T Z E R E T. Shimmy Azarets, the eighth day, is what we're dealing with here. Thanks, Nicole. All right, uh, 41. And ye shall keep it a feast unto Yahuwah seven days in the year. It shall be a statute forever in your generations. Ye shall celebrate it in the seventh month. So it's a statute forever. Mine's a law forever. Yeah, law forever, statute forever. It's all the same stuff. But people don't get it. It says a uh, law forever for all generations. And uh, oh, no, that's on the cross. It's on the cross, big daddy. All right. Here we go. Ye shall dwell in Kakoth seven days. All that are Yashrael born shall dwell in Kakoth. That your generations may know that I made the children of Yashrael to dwell in Kakoth when I brought them out of the land of Mitzrayim. I am Yahuwah Elohekim. And Moshe declared unto the children of Yashrael the feast of Yahuwah. Now, this is a little bit different than Christmas. This is a little bit different than Easter. Yeah, this is a little bit different than Thanksgiving. Um... This is a little bit different than all the other pagan holidays that we used to celebrate. And so these are the ones that are from our creator. So The actual feast of our creator. Yeah, the actual feast of our creator. And um, why do we need to keep these feasts, Eli? Because Yahoo has told us to. Yeah, that's it. Bottom line. That's it. Plus our remembrance, we'll be in the land in Sukkot. We will be doing, when we go back to the land, we'll probably be sleeping in tents on our way there. <coughs> Hopefully. Me. It's a good preparation for the uh, marriage ceremony. All of these feasts have a certain uh, uh, importance to them for like uh, the kingdom from the kingdom comes. Yeah, the kingdom to come. We got to be in routine. If we're not in routine, then we're out of routine. And routine begins with Shabbat. It begins with, um, you know, keeping the days that our creator has set aside for all of us. All right, um, I don't have a ton more on this one. Yeah, it wasn't a lot. It was just uh, a lot of review, like a lot of more detail on what our commands were and how we're supposed to keep these days. And then one new one, which was Sukkot, so. Right. Actually, two. There's two three. more? There was three new ones. Uh, the uh, Feast of Fruits, Fruits, Feast of Trumpets, and Feast of Sukkot. Oh, okay. yeah, Day of Atonement. We had Day of Atonement. We had Day of Atonement up a little So these were just three new ones that we added. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I think that is it. Um, I think that's the, the end of this journey for today. Um, we, we really, truly appreciate the family out there that you guys uh, hang and sit. And, um, you know, we, we love to hear from you guys. Um, we appreciate the comments. When you guys have questions, we try to put them where you, you, you know, try to get back to everybody. And, um, you know, we're, we're here. If you guys have prayer requests, please let us know the direction as to what we need prayer to, to direct it. And I'm sure y'all will deliver you guys and help out and uh yeah thanks a ton everybody much yeah. love yeah and tonight also youth for oh, ya youth for ya all right somebody you want to do a little sales pitch on this uh, huh. welcome to the youth for ya and today every day thursday at 6 p.m mountain standard time eastern standard oh, time it's, it's eastern standard time. It'll, it'll be 7 cst PM CST. <laughs> cst be there or be square all right. So anyway, we'll we'll keep it at that, and uh, thank you guys very much. Uh, hopefully, see you guys tonight. Much love. Right. Right. Shalom. Shalom.